Can you tell me about the uh, development of PRISM technology? What, what, what was its origins? Uh, the, the company was founded in 2005 uh, by our co-founders Amit Jain and Roger Hajar, and the focus was to design a better display. The display uh, in many areas where it didn't have compromises and it delivered elements of wide viewing angle, low power consumption, and, um, uh, and delivered the formats and, and, and sizes that people were looking for. So in 2005, the, the, the was, were the founders aware of the focus on green and environmentally friendly technologies? Was that, was that one of the primary objectives? Yeah, if, if they were going to reach out to change the industry uh, with the display, they knew they had to do it in all elements. That's whether uh, image quality and consumption were the two big ones that, that uh, when it started was, uh, were problems in the market and still today are. And with uh, the... Uh, the technology that you have now, the stage development is very much a technology demonstration. Where does it go from here? It is a technology demonstration. Um, while we are in the process of manufacturing the first product of LPD, and so from here we then continue that first launch of the product, and then the many subsequent ones to come. So uh, it's it is the first of many of a platform. And for those who haven't been able to come along to the show and haven't been able to see the product, uh, the, the technology in itself, can you just give a brief outline of how it actually works? Uh, basically, there is an array of lasers. That array of lasers points to a scanning element that scans the display and excites phosphorus. And so it's basically emitting light that from the surface uh, creates an image, red, green, and blue, phosphor. And it's as simple as that. So you have wide viewing angles, 180 degrees, all directions. So. Uh, uh, it's simply just taking that array of light and putting it out. It's not projecting it, it's a scanning element, and it's doing it at a very fast rate uh, with new technology. Excellent. And when would you hope to have commercial product that you can check? This is dependent, of course, on, on finding the right partners to develop the product with, but do you have a time scale? Uh, we do. It's, it's definitely in the first half of 2010 to deliver the first product. And so um, with that, what we have here at the booth uh, this week at ISC is the... Uh, uh, a, a version of that product that's here while doing a technology demonstration. Uh, where our goal here this week was to work with our partners to define the market, define the strategy, and, and be in place before we launch the first product. And will the launch of that product be simultaneous worldwide, or is it the US first and then Europe? Or will, will we get those products in Europe? Uh, it will be a worldwide uh, launch of the product. Mm -hmm. um, it will be uh, launched probably from the US, but then also replicated in, in Europe at the same time. So the news itself will be will be around the world, but location-wise, we'll have those specific targets. And what reaction have you had from ISC visitors? Yeah, it's been really exciting. They, uh, the adoption to want a new technology to to find ways to to change their business model, where cost of ownership is no longer an issue when developing a t display technology for their clients, and so they're excited by the premise that they can have those elements of you know no consumables, wide viewing angles, and uh, and a great image quality while not costing a lot to run or operate. Uh, and that's a big difference. I think it's coming more and more in our industry. And one of the key advantages, uh, as I understand it, with the technology is that the, there really are almost no restrictions on format. Yeah, really, it's basically having the laser scanning element and the phosphor. And that form factor is decided on, on which you put it together. So it's scale and, and size, either in a stackable tile format or a display that's of any size uh, or shape. Mm -hmm. Where will the product be manufactured? Is this in the United States? It's a, it's a culmination of different parts. It's a worldwide manufacturing program based on the expertise of the people and the staff that are around the world, that being in India and Massachusetts and Boston and also in Asia. So we're really culminating the very best of what's out there to put together a product that, uh, and technology. If you're going to launch a platform, you need to have that that level of um, expertise around the world, because this again, it's not designing a new product for the display market, but it's, it's really changing it by launching a platform, and that platform needs to scale. Mm -hmm. uh, and how far are you on with thinking about things like the service infrastructure, because obviously that's very important. Yeah, it's, it, exactly one reason why we came to IC this week, and we have a closed booth with invite only, is to define the sales, market, and service plan. Uh, many companies just come to a show and launch the product, having not figured out those elements. And we decided this time we're going to, to be successful in launching a platform, we need to set up a scale of partners and channel that has all these elements figured out beforehand.